So uh, Dr. Lee, how is biomarker testing done and what biomarkers are looked at uh, when describing the best treatments available for women with ovarian cancer? That's an excellent question. Um, in my opinion, it's important that biomarker testing be done at diagnosis in order to come up with an individual treatment plan. Biomarker testing at the time of diagnosis is critical for ovarian cancer because there are several different biomarkers that we will evaluate, and I'm going to get into that in just a second. First of all, also reiterating what you just talked about, Dr. Scott, biomarkers are biological molecules found in the blood or tissue, and they're an indicator of a normal or abnormal process in the body. Biomarker testing looks for biological changes that may be associated with cancer. Because specific type of biomarkers vary from person to person, biomarkers give the cancer care team a way to gather as much information as possible about, about a patient's type of ovarian cancer. Biomarker testing is also sometimes referred to as tumor testing, and it's done by obtaining a small amount of tissue called a biopsy from a patient's tumor. This tissue sample is then sent to a lab for testing, which can provide information about the patient's specific tumor makeup. Results from the biomarker testing help to develop and guide a patient's personalized treatment path. So as mentioned before, for ovarian cancer, the most common biomarkers used include BRCA1, BRCA2, HRD, which means homologous recombination deficiency, or LOH, which is loss of heterozygosity, which is present within a tumor. So the question we're asking is, are any one of these biomarkers present within the tumor or not? These biomarker testings are typically performed by a lab that are able to determine the genetic makeup of the tumor and identify whether or not the tumor has abnormalities within BRCA or other abnormalities in genes that repair double-stranded breaks in DNA. This means that cancer cells have a harder time repairing themselves in people whose tumor tests positive for HRD. Testing for biomarkers is rarely associated with complications. It does take about three to four weeks to get the results, so it's best done as early as possible during treatment. Tumor testing for biomarkers is important since it gives information about the tumor and helps select the best treatment. And lastly, Biomarker testing can be repeated if a patient has recurrent cancer. Identifications of new biomarkers that might arise in recurrent cancers within the tumor tissue that's obtained may, may then help patients to become candidates for certain clinical trials. 